Happy bahay, happy buhay. Mag-asawang patnubay sa mag-asaway gabay. Sabi ko naman kasi, Joy, magtipid tayo sa gamit ng kuryente at saka ng tubig eh. Opo, ma'am. Ani, what's up this time? Ang aga-aga ang laas-lakas ng boses mo, you're waking up the entire neighborhood. I know, paano naman sabay-sabay dumating yung bills? Tapos pa, sumabay pa sa tuition fee payment sa mga bata. Na-stress ako talaga, ha? Paano magkakasya yun yung budget this month? Familiar ba kayo sa ganitong klase ng mga eksena? na every time dumadating ang payables at monthly dues, lagi na lang tayong nasasyak at nagugulat. Does this situation ring a bell? Welcome to Happy Bahay, Happy Buhay. It is our prayer that this episode will liberate us all from experiencing financial lack in our marriage, especially in times like this. Months ago, we counseled a young couple who is dear to us concerning their financial condition. The husband is an OFW, while the wife works for a big bank. But despite of this, they can't seem to make both ends meet. Para daw sila bong isang arkansya na butas, hulog ng hulog, pero wala naman silang naiipon. So we only ask them one bold question. Are you faithful in giving your tithes? Yan po ang ating pag-uusapan today, the importance of tithing in your marriage. Alam mo honey, I remember this couple. They humbly admitted that most of the time, they forsake to give their tithes out of fear na baka wala nang matira o baka lalong hindi na pumasya. Yung thinking na kukunti na nga lang yung take home ko, eh babawasan ko pa ng 10%. Pero alam po natin lahat that the word of God is very clear on tithing. Bring your tithes into the storehouse that there may be food in my house. Test me in this, says the Lord Almighty, and see if I will not open the floodgates of heaven and pour out such blessing you cannot contain. Honey, just to give you a mental picture, ha? isipin mo to. Imagine the doors of heaven, the doors of blessing opening wide just for you. Kung iisipin mo, this is completely and totally mind-boggling. And your tithes is the key that opens up this door. Pero alam mo, honey, marami ang nagsasabi that tithing daw is still part of the old covenant, part of the law. And now, since we are under the new covenant, we are no longer required to tithe. Pero tandaan po natin that tithing originates from Abraham and that predates the law. Para sa akin, tithing should never be an issue or an item to debate because God loved us first. And because of this love, He gave us His very best, Jesus. So every time we tithe, it should not be out of compulsion or obligation, but out of our deep love, faithfulness, and obedience to the Lord. Alam mo, honey, sa totoo lang, hindi naman talaga kailangan ni Lord ng pera natin eh. Right. Come to think of it, kahit hindi tayo magbigay, heaven will survive. God is never imposing that we give. Pero tandaan po natin that it is both natural and spiritual that when you plant something, you are guaranteed a harvest. Those who give nothing will absolutely get nothing. And those who give much will definitely get much. That's right. Your tithe is just a seed. A seed that temporarily exits your present. But it will come back to your future multiplied as a harvest. Siksik, liglig, at naguumapaw. Napakahalaga sa isang mag-asawa ang may katapatan sa area ng tithing. When you tithe, you are making God not just the Lord over your finances, but the Lord over your marriage and your family. When you tithe, you are making God your provider and your protector. And most importantly, listen up parents. When you tithe, you are living a legacy of faithfulness and generosity to your children and to the next generation. At alam mo honey, even when you're no longer around, you are confident that your kids will not just survive, but they will thrive because you have imparted to them a good example of giving back to the Lord. 
beautiful honey, well said. The Lord wants to prosper your marriage and your family. Prosperity is not just limited to having a huge amount of money in the bank or driving your fancy car or probably living in a mansion or sending your kids to an exclusive school. But prosperity is when God supplies enough into your life that you have the resources to bless others. The Lord will bring you to a point that you will not just be able to give your tithes but also your offering. Yung iba nga, more than 10% pa. Wow! Balikan po natin yung couple kanina. Alam mo, after they had a revelation on tithing at talagang mga faithfully nila ginagawa ito, now they're experiencing financial freedom and the wife had just given birth to their second child. Such a blessing! We encourage you today to honor God with your tithes and to trust Him with your finances. Huwag din po tayong mag-atubili na tumulong sa ministry ng FABC. This is such a good ground. Tandaan po natin that the money that we will give will only temporarily leave our hands, but it will never leave our lives and our marriage. Sa panahon ngayon, the exit from a need is only a seed. Lagi po natin tandaan na ang mag-asawang sabay manalangin na pagtatagumpayan lahat ng suliranin. Ako po si Bong Pineda. At ako naman po si Claire para sa Happy Bahay. Happy Buhay! Happy Bahay! Happy Buhay! Mag-asawang patnubay sa mag-asaway gabay!